going on YouTube fan? It's your boy Tony Two Times, and we back with another episode of Hood Tales, man. Before I start, be sure to like, comment, share. Definitely watch the video to the end. Subscribe if you're new to the fam. Let's get right into it. All over the world, gang activity has erupted. Everybody got ops or want to have ops. And everybody is screaming, gang, gang. Grape Street Crips, a set that originated in Cali, has branched out with sets all over, including New Jersey. Today on Hood Tales, we will be discussing the Newark Grape Street Crips and how nowadays social media for a gangster can be more hurtful than real ops. When C. Blaze, one of the alleged leaders of the gang in Newark, met with his longtime op, a man named Sko, in a high-end mall in Short Hills, it was to try to come up with a peace treaty for the two gangs at war. But whatever was discussed between the two men wasn't enough to end the beef. Allegedly, a few days later, C. Blaze went on social media saying Sko was an informant, which made the beef escalate. When Sko was driving in his Porsche through Newark, gunman allegedly opened fire on a busy intersection. Even though he was hit multiple times, he was able to make it to the hospital for doctors to save his life. But his homie BD, who set up the meeting between the two rivals, wouldn't be as lucky. BD, who was with another member in the Blue Cherokee, when the other man allegedly told BD he would be back and left him in the car alone. That's when the shooter approached the vehicle hitting BD in the head, leaving him dead on the scene. In later testimonies, the alleged hit was said to come from C. Blaze, but he would say he had nothing to do with that hit. Allegedly, the Newark Grape Street Crips had a multi-million dollar operation with narcotics, shipping smack out of town, blocks in the city, plenty of blickies, and a reputation only a dummy would try. But bodies would start stacking through the city and drug sales going up. The Crips were smart, only using nicknames to make sure they stayed away from the feds and see Blaze, the alleged leader, didn't even talk on phones, but took pictures with other members. On one picture, three Crips were posted on one of the men had a blick on them. In a later case, police would allege five days later, the man used the same blick on an attempted hit of a blood member. The Grace was said to control the neighborhood close to 280, the interstate. Colonnade Apartments, a high rise in the University Heights District of Newark, the city's housing projects, and more. Using trains to move bricks of smack all through the week out of state, allegedly cleaning the money through restaurants and businesses, including the downtown clothing store. The gang code of silence was real. Even members didn't even know each other's real name. So if somebody got jammed up, they couldn't snitch on the gang. But with all the police activity and all the activity in the city and shootings, the police did get some members to allegedly talk. One alleged member told police he was ordered to kill his longtime friend after C. Blaze told him to. With that information and C. Blaze rocking with Instagram hard, police went to social media where Blaze had over 12,000 followers and loved the post. 10 Trade Day, a celebration where all the Grape Streets came together. A picture was posted on social media that grabbed police attention and they started doing homework on C. Blaze who grew up in Newark housing projects and moved around, even being a star football player in high school. But after dropping out, returned to his old hood where the Grape Street Crips were running the scene. Where he says he got caught up easy with no sense of direction and join. But even as a hopper or young man, C. Blaze had pulled in the hood. The mayor even recruited him years before all this to sit down to start a peace treaty with neighborhood gangs beefing. But with his name and affiliation, Newark PD would soon indict the gang on murder charges, attempts, drug charges, witness intimidation, and more. Saying if it wasn't for social media, C. Blaze would have been a ghost. But as members started falling, some started pointing out Blaze as the big dub. But during trial, Blaze told the court, I don't have any violence on my record. I never shot anybody. I'm a man of peace. But as other members took the stand and talked about hits, they all said C. Blaze sent them. And when questioned why they did it, one man stated, that's just the way it is. You don't question it or you will probably end up dead as well. During trial, the plot of the hit on Sko and BD came up. And two men who met Blaze at the mall Members alleged Blaze wasn't feeling it and felt as though they was trying to set him up and sent the hit. 
Skull would survive, and he wasn't alone. He was actually with a female passenger. But the hit on BD was carefully planned out. As prosecutors alleged, the gang was a violent organization that terrorized the streets of Newark with narcotics and bullets. 71 people in all were charged and faced different times for their roles in the organization. The main target seemed to be Blaze. If it wasn't for social media, who would have been out the way for real? More of this story, watch how you move. If you choose to be in the streets, social media will get you jammed up. And just cause you are not the one doing the shooting, when the game falls, they all saying gang gang, but you guilty by association. So remember, we gotta succeed not to fail. So you won't be just another hood tab. Man, crazy story, man, you feel me? Rest in peace to the dudes that lost their life, you feel me? Free these boys, man. You know what I mean? I rock with Newark, you feel me? I've been following they scene up there, so I been knew this was going on. Somebody requested this video, though. They wanted me to do a video on it. It's a few years old, this this story, you know what I mean? They got jammed up around about, I want to say like 2015 or something like that. But yeah, they was definitely getting active in the city. You know, they was deep. I don't know if y'all seen that video after Keith had, you know, allegedly went to Jersey, Chief Keith and something went down. Then you had all them Grape Streets did a video after he dropped Finito, basically saying, you know, Newark or no fly zone. That's these boys. So, you know, they had a lot of rep in the city, a lot of action in the city, but you know, the police was on them. And I don't think it was a lot of them. So don't quote me. I don't think a lot of people turned state. I think it was like one of them out of all of them that turned state, but that's all it takes. You know, and Blaze, you know, he was well calculated. He was smart, but he liked social media. And like I said, social media can be more dangerous than the ops. Cause you gotta think your account is linked to your name. If you don't got your real name, it's linked to something. Your phone number, they got a way of tracking it. They can track all your messages. They can track everything. I think people forget that social media is connected to the government. So if you out here really living that life and breaking law, you can't really be using social media like that. You know, you really gotta be a ghost. You can't play them phones like that. But yeah, man, crazy story, man. Shout out to Newark, you feel me? I rock with Jersey, the whole Jersey, Trenton. You know what I mean? Hopefully, man, I don't know what's going on with their case, but hopefully these boys can come out on the pill, man. Hopefully they learn from their mistakes, man. But y'all already know this is another episode of Hood Tales. Be sure to like, comment, share. This your boy Tony Two Times. Love, fam. I'm out.